You are listening to Practical and Woo by Mindset and Manifest. My name is Eden, and I invite you to embark on a journey with me to explore the practical and spiritual edges of the unknown for the purpose of allowing you to embody and empower yourself uniquely as you are and to intentionally create and live a life of freedom and fulfillment. Each week, I'm going to discuss topics such as energetics, reality creation, manifestation, astrology, tarot, human design, and more to help empower you to live beyond perceived limitations and to practically design your life so it feels like absolute magic every step of the way. Let's dive in. Hello, gorgeous soul. Mm, Love is in the air. Can you feel it? Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday, and it has been my whole life, both partnered and single. The reason? Well, I love love, and I appreciate the reminder and chance to celebrate it, especially when I was going through some darker phases of my life experience. It was nice to have an earmarked day emerge in 365 days that reminded me to commit to love of all kinds, to myself, to others, and in the name of love. I love the feeling of love, the experience of love, the act of both giving and receiving love. So in honor of V-Day, or should I say Love Day, I wanted to bring a little love magic to this week's episode. As an energetic frequency, love is a powerful and immersive energy. It is the creator of life, the mover of mountains, the genie behind miracles. When we open our hearts and allow ourselves to be filled with love, we can feel it radiating from within and all around us. When we act in and out of love, we create more in the world. Love is the driving force of the universe, and it is the foundation of all that exists. Many of our worst feelings are a byproduct of the absence of love and the siphoning of your access to the universal force that is available to you in spades. There are many, many reasons why you might siphon your access to love, and we can explore this in future episodes of Practical and Woo. But I want you to know, and I want you to trust, that love is readily available to you, and is ushering you to find your way home to yourself. On a mental level, love as a concept can be hard to conceptualize. You may wonder, well, what is love? Am I in love? How do I get more of it? You may try to justify and exclaim, that's not loving. Well, if you love me, you would. This is what love looks like or is supposed to look like. But love is elusive when we try to pin it down, almost like using a microscope to look at the sun. When we use the wrong tool to measure or observe something, it becomes distorted to us. Love is felt and experienced and is not accurately known by the mind. As spiritual healer and teacher Matt Kahn says, In every breath you take, love is always here. Throughout any personal encounter, love is always here. No matter what comes together or whatever is pulled apart, love is always here. In your greatest moment of achievement or even in your darkest hour of uncertainty, love is always here whether in the aftermath of tragedy or in the presence of your highest triumph, love is always here. When life is flowing 
inspired and harmonious. And even if it's frustrating, annoying, painful, or inconvenient, love is always here. When you feel alone or unsupported, love is always here. Despite your thoughts, regardless of what you choose or how you feel, love is always here. No matter what has been done to you or whatever you believe you've done to others, love is always here. The practical side of you might be wondering, well, what can I do with this? It feels fluffy and obscure, and if I can't rationalize it, how and why is it important? I hear you. I see you. Candidly, in wanting to offer this episode, I knew I wanted to touch upon love, and I spent a long time trying to rationalize my way into explaining to you the importance of it. I came to realize that I couldn't. Instead, I invited myself into my body, my heart, and my soul, and allowed the energy of love streaming through me to orate these messages to you now. I can tell you why it's important, and yet I also know the depths of your heart know why. I can explain to you the mechanics of love, and yet that limitation would distort it. What I will say is finding the resource and frequency of love within yourself is one of the most powerful ways you can build a life that looks and feels like magic. Acting and making choices out of love, communicating with love, feeling the expansive vibration of love pulsing through your body, it matters. Isn't it sort of exciting to find out why? If you thought or said yes in response, then I'm celebrating the heck out of you because I agree. Where love is most powerful is when it flows as a resource from yourself to yourself and then to others with joy. You may have heard before that love is a drug. A quippy way of explaining the effect of siphoning your access to your own resource of love and then desperately trying to procure it from people, things, and experiences outside of yourself. Chasing love is highly addictive because you know how good it feels to be wrapped in its embrace. I am here to tell you that love is when fundamentally understood, isn't a drug. It's a resource, a means of wealth that is infinitely abundant and for which you have the ability to completely and wholly access within yourself. Just imagine for a moment this visual of self-love. Let's say you, a wonderful and unique human, decides to rediscover, commit to, and expand the offering of love within yourself. You breathe into your body and direct your attention inwards, calling upon love. All of the sudden, you notice this tangling and spiraling sensation. It's warm and feels familiar you might even be able to taste its sweetness. It feels like a dear friend, a warm embrace, and yet it is available to you even when you are physically alone. You just have to call upon it. Now, let's say your attention to this sensation allows it to grow outwards beyond your body and is then present in every space you are in. You smile at a stranger on the street. They smile back, touched by the spark of your love. A shift has occurred in their day 
that inspires them to pay for lunch for a dear friend who had a really tough day. That friend feels filled with glee and appreciation and with a warm and satisfied belly, that friend enrolls their niece into a scholarship program her single mom couldn't afford. The mom and the niece are then both touched immeasurably. And so on and on the love grows. Now just imagine that each of those people and every single wonderful person on the planet committed to the love in themselves the way you had done and imagine that they too offered a smile that launched a ripple effect of love. Imagine the cosmic love hug the entire world would be experiencing if we all did this together. Love is powerful and its true power starts with you. I'm sending to you love in all of its blessings and may you choose to cultivate it within yourself. Until next time.